Hi everybody, my name is Joe, welcome to This Work World, and on this channel I aim to inspire, inform and amuse through travel, and in this video I'm going to cover the Travel Adventure Film Festival, or ATFF, that's coming here in the UK in August, in fact it's next weekend, it starts on the Friday 11th and ends on the Sunday the 13th of August. I'm going to give a quick overview of the actual festival, film festival itself, an overview of my highlights from last year, and give you some tips about just generally the festival and how to make the most out of it. So the Adventure Travel Film Festival is a film festival dedicated to, you've guessed it, adventure travel films. There's three festivals in the UK, Scotland and Australia and I'm going to focus the one in the UK because that's the one I'm going to. It's a great social event to meet other travel filmmakers, uh, authors, photographers. It's also a great event to learn from the experts because there's workshops on filming, photography and writing. So if you have any ideas or what you really want to try and get into for uh, to document your travels then you should definitely check it out. But of course the main focus is the films. The types of films vary from ones made back in the 1920s to the more recent times. The spectrum is quite varied from epic trips to heartwarming stories to quite quirky films. There's literally something for everyone. Chances are you won't hear any of these stories heard anywhere else so it's a really really great way to find some pretty inspirational and just bloody interesting stories. Previous films include an old route master travelling through Europe, India, Australia and the US in the 1960s. There's also Austin's Mondo Enduro, and funny enough, that actually went on to inspire the long way around with Erin McGregor. There's actually loads of other side activities you can do as well. There's from swimming, yoga, also cooking competition, lots of stores to help you plan your adventure, and a host of other companies who just specialise in travel adventure. So if you have a motorbike, for example, and you're trying to work out exactly how to uh, get you from A to B, there's a company for that. I myself, I'm going to bring my yoga mat and do some swimming. For me, actually one of the highlights of 2016 would be Austin's motorbike film with his mates, Mondo Enduro, Pillet Conco's The World, to travel a double-decker bus around the world. I just can't imagine how fun that would be. And a couple of guys travelling through Iran along the Wira Kirin. And there's loads of good stuff, like meeting some of the actual filmmakers themselves. And the crowd is really easy going. In fact, one of the first people I met as soon as I get there was this really cool American guy. And after chatting about for about half an hour, I realised he was actually one of the filmmakers for one of the films I really wanted to watch. Unfortunately, I never got to actually see the film because I was actually stuck in a workshop, but uh, never mind. And during the evening, you actually have some evening entertainment. They had a live band and, you know, it's just a good old little party atmosphere, really. I think sitting around a campfire was possibly one of my highlights. It was just good fun swapping stories with a couple of really interesting people underneath the stars, uh, just having a bevy, and it just kind of reminds me of some of the trips I've had in the past. And some tips for you guys. You should definitely camp and not even think about staying at a hotel. The reason being, you're at a freaking adventure film festival, right? So you should have a little bit of adventure, do some camping, and definitely pitch up a tent. Alternatively, if you have a camper van or caravan, just uh, park on the actual caravan site. Definitely don't spend too much time in the workshops. Maybe book one or two, but I made the mistake of thinking, oh, there's all these cool workshops, and I booked a whole load of them. And as a consequence, I missed most of the films uh, from the SAS state. In fact, there's a couple of films I really wanted to watch, but because of my lack of foresight and planning, I end up, well, spending literally most of SAS state in a classroom. If you're not planning to make food yourself, make sure you buy the right ticket with food, uh, because there's separate food tickets along with the actual main event ticket. I made a mistake last year of booking my ticket way too late, and missed the deadline to actually um, you know, get a nice hot evening meal. The deadline to order your food in advance is on Try not miss that deadline. Definitely bring a picnic chair or something for the evening showing so that you have something comfortable to sit on. Keep an eye out for some of the filmmakers. Chances are they're more than happy to chat to you. In fact, they usually have some more crazy, really fun stories to tell in addition to what's actually in the film. Definitely check out some of the trailers if they do exist for some of the films just to get a sense of which of the films to watch. Thankfully, quite a few films are shown more than once during the whole weekend, so you can sort of plan um, somewhat films you want to watch without too much clashing. Unless, of course, you put yourself into loads of workshops. 
And also, if you get a chance, talk to Austin Lewis. They may be a bit busy, but they're freaking awesome. I also recommend trying to figure out which of the films actually have the filmmakers doing a Q&A. It's just really fun to hear some of the additional stories and how they go when about making the film itself. So if you're thinking about actually doing like an epic trip and trying to document it, you should definitely speak to these guys. Well, that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions about Adventure Film Festival, add a couple of comments and I'll try and answer as best I can. Also, the people at the Adventure Film Festival are really responsive. Definitely subscribe and hit the like button. I also recommend checking out my own short documentary about Nora. For the last 14 months, I rode from Amsterdam to Bali alone. I'm king of the road. I am king of the road. I had gotten my motorcycle license a year before, but I'd never left the Netherlands on my bike. I'd never ridden off-road on my bike. Music is my money and my story will be told. This life is like a sound that makes us all together bound. Let it out. So I'll see you at the next video or at the festival. Bye!